guys it is Lily here from crafting through mental health and today I'm gonna go through my art books that I own I actually own quite a lot I have this sort of problem of finding art books online and being like "Ooh, I'll buy that and then I can learn more and then uh, just that either them being really good or bad I'm gonna go through all of them gonna go through that if you do like this video let me know because I have so many craft books as well and if you want me to go through my craft books as well I can do that as well and show you patterns and stuff like that so this is really good if you love art and you want to know what sort of books to get with it the first one I picked up is from the works uh, it well it's not you know you probably can buy it other places but I bought it from the works it was four pound um, it's called draw it print it ink it and it's basically to make temporary tattoos I love this book I absolutely love it um, I love traditional sort of tattoo art yeah so it goes through like different things of like so it'll go through like an illustration sort of style and just different types of sort of um, mediums and stuff like that but it will kind of just tell you a little bit and it's got a lot of pictures in it. I like it for inspiration I don't like a lot of text because when you do art, it's, it's all about the pictures, you know? So it basically runs through how to sort of design them and then um, how to sort of print them. So I haven't really followed it. I've never really done the temporary tattoo thing, but I just, I love it. Like, I just, they, they look amazing. So anyway, this is an awesome book. If I find links and everything, they will be down below as well. But I give this a seven, unicorns out of 10. I also found this in my book collection. Um, it's from ages ago and my boyfriend made me this and messaged all my friends for my birthday. <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. I can't remember how old I was. Oh my God, I was 19. <laughs> wow. It's funny because some people in here don't even like me anymore. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that was. Oh, Ashton, if you're watching, which you better be because you better be. Thank you. Got this one on Amazon. They do a few. They do different like books. So they'll do like one on poses, uh, animals, and stuff like that. So this one was um, faces and heads. So basically portraits and it's actually really good oh yeah so here's a display of all the different ones i would say they roughly around about six quid or something i might be wrong on that you will see on the thing so it just kind of goes through stuff and it's quite you know got a lot of drawings in there and it goes through like different things like kids uh going older doing them up sort of skull and muscles so it's really good on explaining it's more for that sort of realistic look um which is really good because i think realism is really good to sort of master if even if you want to do more of a cartoony style it's really good to get um anatomy right and it's just really good i think i've, I've learned a lot from this like if i struggle like ears are quite hard and this sort of simplifies it down and tells you different shapes and it's just really fab as well and i've really done some studies on this as well and i just think it's it's really good it doesn't really show you like coloring and stuff but you know for a book that isn't like too much money it's actually quite good it's very thin it does, it's not like one of those thick ones but I still think it's really good just to pick up and also because it's thin as well it's easy to store because whenever you need it you can just get it out I would rate this 8 out of 10 unicorns so this one is uh, watercolour for all. I got this a little while ago on Amazon again. It's it's very big. I get quite bored with big books. But like it's got a lot of pictures in it which I like. Um, and different styles and stuff. But it's got a lot of text as well and there's no way I'll, I'll read all of that. Um, I'm not a biggest fan. Like you can tell it's all the same sort of colour as well. I mean you can tell it's quite good. So if you're really into in-depth um, art books, then it's probably quite worth it. But I'm already like a bit bored looking at it all because it's just like the same colour and just so much text. I'm not going to like read all of this. <laughs> you know, it says um, 
like watercolour for all and stuff like that but you know it's only really landscapes and stuff like that like it would have been cool if they went into other bits and bobs okay so it did come out in the early 90s so fair enough in the early 90s that probably would have been really good because nowadays we've got Skillshare which is amazing um, and we've got like YouTube and stuff like that so nowadays we can see more skill so back in the 90s this probably would have been really good but now I'm not as bothered about it oh I bought this used as well jeez like they mustn't have barely used it <laughs> yeah I rate this probably like a three out of ten unicorns <laughs> So, oh, Bailey J's book. Oh my god, I was so excited for this to happen. It's it's really good. I don't always sit down. I think the problem with me is my workspace isn't huge. But I have used this for inspiration and stuff like that. And I really want to sit down properly with this book. I love Bailey J. And she's amazing. And her art's really good. Like, it's really... She's got this amazing, like, cartoon slash realistic style and it's just i love the colors in here as well and it sort of goes through different things like even though i know basics on like tools and art um mediums and stuff like that it's still like like look how beautiful she's made it like she obviously like you we all knew she worked really hard on it but it's just amazing like yeah so she goes through little things like drawing hair how to draw people and anatomy adding on extras um and yeah it's just really like lovely she's gone about thumbnails i would recommend it i think there's a lot of good points i just haven't had you know the time <laughs> yet to probably go through it but even like simple things like going through markers and like being like waterproof or not there's so much detail in it like she's done really well so I know you can get this like on Amazon and places like that. I give this book a 9 unicorns out of 10. So I got this one recently, um, 20 ways to draw a tree and 44 other nifty things from nature. So I bought this online and hadn't really seen, I think I might have seen it in person but I don't know like I hadn't properly looked at it. It doesn't say what other books there are. I know there's ones like 20 ways to draw a cat, 20 ways to draw a sea, like it will always be like one specific thing like uh, a mermaid or something but it will have like other objects in there as well. I was hoping this would be like going through stuff, this is good for inspiration, I needed it because I'm doing a lot of projects with trees in the minute and I find trees really hard so basically you'll get a page like this, I haven't even filled any of it in yet. Um, and it will have different examples and it will like basically be like it's really good if you sort of want to colour in things so you've got different types of birds flowers I think it's good if you want to experiment with your style which is what I really need to do um, apples so it's really good and uh, like if you want like don't know what to do then you've kind of got this I was hoping it would be more of a tutorial book it's okay but I wish it had more like explaining in it so I would rate this probably a five unicorns out of ten this was one of my first ever art books um, I got a few years for my birthday how to draw manga and it would have been like ultra cheap like it doesn't even have a price on the back it would have been from um, Amazon it's black and white a lot of text um, I have used it quite a bit in the past other than that like it's too wordy again like I need colourful things and lots of like sort of example pictures rather than telling me different words and stuff like that so yeah again like, it's alright so I would rate this 4 unicorns out of 10 like it's good but it's meh I have done a video on this one it is draw every day draw every way and it's huge i really like this book i don't use it often but i have done one and it's basically it's to draw every day but i don't i have different projects and stuff so i don't have the time so sometimes when i'm like i have no idea what to draw i have art block i got on this this was my first one the aerial drawing of 
um, Tiny French. And then I did these for um, chilled, relaxed drawing video. So check that out. So yeah, so it'll tell you to do it like colourful on this one. And then you've got like the black paper month. And then it goes back into Bing, and then it sort of goes into pencil drawing. And you have different themes. So the first one was sort of like outside and stuff like this. And then this one's like a sleep mask and earplugs, like a travel sort of thing. Um, a lazy princess. Me. And um, I would definitely rate this about. <laughs> For the type of book it is, honestly, it's like a 9 out of 10 unicorns, so... What's up? I bought this book at the same time as buying the 20 Ways to Draw a Tree. Uh, because it just looked really interesting. It was on Amazon and I had no control of my money. It's called um, How to Draw Cool Stuff. And it's got like loads of pictures on the back and stuff like this. This book is wordy again. Like, it's huge. It's wordy. Um, it's sort I think a lot of people use it as sort of like a textbook thing for in art stuff So it's all black and white. It's very sort of a lot in there. So you got the basics sort of human outlines Shading and all that so you do have the basics So you've got a big chunk of that which you know if you are an artist and you already know that like you can kind of skip over that It's always good to kind of go back over it, but um you know, like, it goes through different things, like different textures, and how to do a dandelion, and spotting, and there's a lot of different sort of things in there. Like, how to do stuff, how to make it more look more realistic. It's really quite weird and wacky, but that's quite good. You want that with art. I think it's quite good. Um, they do have other books as well in the series. I think, yeah, I think it's quite good if you want to, like, get a really thick book for this sort of thing, I would personally give this 6 out of 10 unicorns. It's not perfect and there's a lot of good stuff in it. I think less text, more sort of examples would be better. Last but not least, I actually really like this book. It's called uh, Figure It Out. I think they do other ones. I think there's like another Figure It Out as well. Uh, it basically figures and we all need to do that if you're an artist. Oh, it's bad. No! Yeah, so you've got like proportions and stuff like that on the face. So it's really cool. And then it kind of goes into like sort of muscles and how people stand. And it goes really into detail. But it's really handy if you're like, I need to design someone like this. And you can kind of go through it. But like, yeah, body language. And it's just really good. I think it's really, really awesome. Like drawing women and you got men as well so i think it's really awesome it's all in black and white but there's a lot to show you like there's a lot of pictures there's some text but they keep it short and sweet which i really like and they give you like little hints and stuff like that and yeah he's done more so he's done uh like cartooning and uh drawing witches and vampires and stuff so like he's done loads um i would recommend this i would give this book eight out of ten unicorns i think it's really good i definitely recommend it anyway that is all my art books like i said earlier if you liked this video let me know and i will make a crafting one as well and that would be really awesome i have so many i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe i make mental health and art youtube videos here and i hope you guys have a fabulous week